So you're probably wondering where the heck I've been over the past while. I haven't been posting as much and I think I missed a couple editions of the Friday Night Geek Show. This is what I have been doing with all of that time. As you can see, I have completely overhauled my uh, comic book storage method and have rearranged everything um, to make it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, the filing cabinet for me was uh, great for a while, but I really wanted uh, something that was more akin to something you would see in someone's geek cave. Well, my dream has finally come true. A way to store all my comics and showcase some of my favorite covers. And this is exactly what we're gonna be talking about today. So what we have here in the first cabinet, uh, I have actually five cabinets all together, uh, one of which my uh, wife occupies with her things, and I have my stuff in uh, the four others. And it's, as you can see, it is totally a geek shrine. And um, I'm so happy with this. I'm absolutely pleased with uh, how this turned out. So I just kind of wanted to show you all what was in this uh, first shelf here, this first cabinet. Uh, so what we have here are definitely, um, it's mostly graphic novels and um, my uh, omnibuses that I've collected, but we also have some geeky books here. I have um, Comic Book Nation by Bradford Wright. Superboys, this is actually a pretty good book. It's about um, Jerry Siegel and Joe, Joe Schuster. Of course, we have the Song of Ice and Fire series, which you all know I'm a huge fan of. Still waiting for Winds of Winter to come out. Don't know if it ever will, but uh, I can still hope, at least uh, at least since George R. R. Martin is still alive. Uh, got a book by Neil Gaiman there. And then up here, I have some uh, manga. Uh, this is mostly Legend of Zelda manga and uh, just some classic books here. Uh, I do like to read other books other than uh, just geeky stuff. This is cabinet number two. And of course you could see I, I try to put toys um, in each of the cabinets. Uh, yes, I actually took them out of their boxes. Um, I, I decided that I'm probably never gonna try to sell my toys. So why not take them out and put them on display? Uh, so you can see here, I have most of my uh, favorite covers on display here. And I also, um, over here, especially left some some room um, to put in other books that I have uh, yet to read. Uh, but uh, it's actually really great. Uh, these cabinets here, I actually got at um, Ikea. I believe you also could get them at uh, Amazon. Uh, the brand of the cabinet is called uh, Sektion. Um, and they are just great. They're actually pretty pretty well made. I don't have any complaints uh, about them. And um, each, the, the space, these are actually really spacious. I don't know if you can see how many comics that I, I, I can fit in here, but you, you actually could fit quite a bit in here. Um, I actually stuck a whole long box in here. You can pretty much, each space here is uh, pretty much equivalent to a long box. So let's figure I have uh, eight, long boxes worth of, of comic uh, of comics just in one cabinet i think that's uh, amazing this is especially great if your collection isn't like super massive i mean like i have a decent sized collection i mean it pales in comparison to some of the collections uh, i've seen but i have about uh i don't know about 1800 comics now i certainly don't have 1800 comics in all of these uh, cabinets here but uh, all of my favorites uh, are definitely accounted for uh, these comics are actually all um, standing up and stored as they should be. Uh, and they uh, to prevent them from kind of just falling out, uh, we have uh, just some clear bookends that I got off of Amazon. Uh, link is in the description if you want to get some uh, yourself. But uh, yeah, just some of these uh, clear bookends. They work great. Haven't had any problems with them so far. And uh, I just like, I like the clear ones, obviously, because it doesn't take away from uh, the, the cover whatsoever. And here is the next cabinet. In case you're all wondering, no, that is not an original Detective uh, 27. That's the, actually the Oreo cookie edition from the early 1980s. So um, as you can see, the fun continues. 
Um, you can kind of see a little theme here. Um, I have most of my horror comics in this cabinet, um, as well as my two favorite Star Wars figures, Darth Vader and Obi-Wan Kenobi. It was actually one of my favorite Star Wars characters. So, um, yeah, again, I, I just love the way this looks. As you can see, I have other titles in the back. I don't know if you can see there, it says Sleepwalker, but uh, these aren't all just one title. They are mixed in with other things, but everything is uh, organized appropriately. And this here is the uh, last cabinet. Um, of course, and yes, I put Indiana Jones on display because I freaking love Indiana Jones. I'm a huge fan of uh, the Indiana Jones franchise, uh, but... Yeah, um, these books here are actually books that I have yet to read. It's just these two piles here. So this is my ongoing um, backlog of comics that I haven't read yet. Some of these I've had for years. I've just, uh, I like to do other things like read books and like novels. Obviously, I, you probably have seen that I post some Star Wars book reviews. So I read a lot of Star Wars books, regular books. Uh, I like to play video games. So don't always get around to reading as many comics as I was I would like, but uh, you know, I, tr I try to read a few comics a week uh, on average. But yeah, uh, this is, I think this is actually a really great way to store your comics. Um, and I think the main reason why I like this method of storing comics is because it's very, very aesthetically pleasing. Um, I really love the way this looks. It's it's just awesome. Everybody that I've had come down here um, has just been like, wow. Um, and I have actually my um, <clears throat> my stepdaughter, my wife, my wife's working from home currently because of uh, quarantine. And I have my stepdaughter who's uh, doing homeschooling. Um, and uh, people that kind of catch a glimpse of this, this backdrop are like, wow, this just looks amazing. Um, they absolutely uh, love it. I've gotten really, really um, good compliments on this. So uh, definitely a worthwhile investment if you're kind of looking to uh, build a geek cave. Now, as you can see, um, this is actually my basement and uh, people have said that uh, it's a bad idea to store comics in the basement, but I have no fear here because um, look how far off the ground they are. like. Very, very far off the ground. And of course I have a uh, finished basement and uh, we have a dehumidifier that is usually running down here. So it's uh, definitely not that big of a deal. Uh, the only uh, dis disadvantage to this, I think, this is the only disadvantage so far that I found. Um, comics that are a little bit further in are not as easily accessible um, as they would be in a long box. In a long box, all you would do is just kind of, or a short box even, all you would do is just kind of flip through here, find the one you want and pull it out. Now say I want this book here, I have a hard time pulling it out. Um, I actually would have to take out some of these books here. Um, it's a little extra work to get books if you, especially if you go into your comic comics a lot, um, but uh, these are actually books that I usually don't um, go and uh, I don't really go and pull out a lot of books from here uh, that often. The only ones I'm usually pulling out are the ones um, that are in uh, my, my, my backlog, which is, uh, which is over here. Uh, so these are really the only ones that I, I take out. Uh, but other than that, uh, these are probably going to be staying where they are. I mean, I might take them out every so often to, uh, to make videos and so on and so forth, or maybe read one that I really, really enjoy. But, uh, to me, it's not, um, it's not that big. It's not, it's not enough of a deterrent for me to not do something like this. I just really love the way, um, it looks. So once again, uh, if you're looking for a way to or some storage ideas for your comic books um, and you don't want to spend too too much money um, I think this is actually um, a viable option for you now these are prefab cabinets they're from Ikea I believe they're on Amazon too I'll see if I can put a link in the description for you uh, again the brand is called Sektion and uh, all you have to do is put them together and uh, back here, they're just kind of supported by a bracket. I don't know if you can, uh, there it is, see 
right there. You can see there's a little bracket. So all you do is just drill a bracket um, into the wall, uh, hit a stud, and these things that they just they just clip right on. Uh, really convenient, easy to use, and just just really really love uh, the look of them. So uh, if you have any questions at all about this, feel free uh, to leave. Uh, some questions in the comments. I'd love to talk to you about this, but uh, this is definitely going to be my new method of storing comics going forward. So hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope I, I've inspired some of you and I will see you all in the next episode. Take care.